Good one. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you there. Wow, thank you, Lord Jesus. That big spot. Big old spot, son. I mean, he attacked that thing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What? Thank you, Lord. Good morning, everybody. Morning everybody. Starting starting this morning like I usually don't, but throwing a buzz bait. Just thankful to the good Lord to have a good day. Taking a break from work. Blessed to be able to come out and just spend some time in God's creation. Let's just see what he blesses us with today. Hope it's a blessing to you all just to watch a couple of fish. There we go. There's one on that drop shot. Well, it must be a pretty good little spot, my guess. Well, pretty good little fish. Well, he's stronger than he thought he was. Good grief, he's strong. <laughs> mean little thing. You mean little fish. That's your issue, you're mean. I'm down. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Pretty little spot. All right, so this is in my pool. I just wanted to give you, and I know my pool needs to be cleaned a little bit, but uh, I just wanted to give you an idea how come this bait and what this bait works like. So, I want to describe to you a little bit what I'm doing. See, all I'm, right now, I've let go of the line, so it's going down. See how slow that sinks? The action that this little bait has and that size of that hook determines that. Uh, it sinks super slow. And the action that it has, if I just barely shake that rod tip, okay? Now, I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit and show you my rod tip. Because a lot of times what people are doing with their drop shot is you're overworking your bait. I mean, your bait's almost having a seizure down there because you're shaking it so much and you don't have to do that. Um, you really don't have to move it as much as you think you have to move that bait because the water and the boat and everything else is moving you around. So let me zoom down just a second on my rod tip and I'll give you an idea what I'm talking about. So now you can see my rod tip. Bait's in the water. Let's see if we can get a better angle here. There we go. Okay, so now my rod tip's right there. So see, I've, I've let go completely. So now watch how barely I move that rod tip and that bait's moving. Now, I'm not moving that rod tip maybe up an inch or two. And look how that bait is moving in the water. So really and truly when they, when we're talking about shaking the line, that's really all you need to do to give that bait just a little bit of action. 
if I was doing like everybody's doing, a lot of times when they show you videos, they're like, oh, look, that bait looks so good under the water. Well, that doesn't really look very natural. What you really want is you want that bait to glide in the water because that's what attracts the fish. I mean, a lot of times, yes, they're hitting it out of aggression, but a lot of the times they're like, oh, look, a, a sinking minnow. You see that bait just slowly sinks. So anyway, I thought maybe that would help a little bit. Um, that's just that little missile bait bomb shots, just as an example. But He's pulling hard too. But definitely around that grass. Pretty good one. Pretty good one. Jesus. Fishy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's one of the things, I mean, everybody complains all the time about the drop shot and how it gets tangled up but <laughs> you know what I like catching fish I don't mind one bit <laughs> I don't mind one bit I've caught a lot of fish over the years on a drop shot it works so Thank you, Lord, for the drop shot.
a good one. Uh oh. That'd be a really big fish. Oh boy. Don't lose this fish if we don't hurry up and get it in. Thank you, Lord. Pretty little fish. Hit that little drop shot. Off he goes. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Holy, holy is his name. Praise the Lord Jesus. Oh my goodness. Son, what a fish. I mean, son, what a fish. Son. What a fish.
I really don't know what it weighs. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what? Five, six pounds? Six pounds, probably. It's <laughs> <laughs> gotta be every bit of six pounds. I see how it couldn't be. <laughs> Good night, son. I mean, <laughs> it's huge. Look at the mouth on that thing. I mean, look, my whole fist. My whole fist sits down in its mouth. And that's crazy. I mean, that is absolutely just huge. I mean, huge. <laughs> Goodness, son. Absolutely beautiful bass. I mean, beautiful. I don't have a measuring. I bet that's every bit of six pounds, though. Maybe bigger. Or maybe bigger than six pounds. Man, that is beautiful. I mean, beautiful. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What a day. Man. Wow. I mean, beautiful. Well, let's let her go. None of those pictures are going to do it justice. Let's let her go. Jesus, thank you very much. Wow. It's beautiful. There she goes. Let's do this. There she goes. Wow. family of duckies. Well, God bless you all. Um, today was definitely a fun day. Uh, bite was over, honestly, about 11, 12 o'clock. I, I left the lake, got too hot. Wasn't a whole lot going on, wasn't a whole lot of bites or anything, no matter how slow I went. But this morning I had plenty of action. Um, caught one early in the morning on a buzz bait. Been years since I'd done that. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Then uh, went down the lake a little ways. Um, caught another one on another top water, which I'll talk about here in just a minute. But, um, was using a different spinning rod today. This is a uh, St. Croix Mojo Bass spinning rod. It's a uh, 610 medium light. This is a, a rod that I picked up for uh, Ned Riggs and for um, drop shot, either one. I, I really like using that spinning rod, especially in the summertime. Um, early in the morning, of course, like I said, I'll talk about it here in just a second. Early in the morning, I love that top water. 
with other baits. But after about 9.30, depending on the weather, man about has to put down that top water and he has to pick up something else. And it's just been, a lot of people don't like fishing that drop shot. I get it. A lot of people don't fish the net. I understand that. Personally, I like catching fish, so I'll fish them. It don't matter to me if they're six inches, if they're six pounds. I praise the Lord for each one of them. They're a blessing to me. Um, but anyway, as far as the drop shot is concerned, that little Mojo Bass rod right there, excellent. Uh, they were actually having a sale right now at uh, Cabela's and about everybody does. So you can pick those up at a reasonable price. No, they don't pay me anything, but I figured I'd just share. Uh, just a fun little rod, lightweight, plenty of power and backbone behind it. Uh, I catch quite a few fish on it, and I'm sure the Lord will bless me, and I'll catch several more on it. Um, plus, don't break the bank buying one. Now, this right here is the bait of the hour. <laughs> I've, uh, if you watch my videos very long, uh, I absolutely love this little top water right here, this little walking bait. I, uh, I got introduced to it years ago by several good friends of mine. I love throwing a popper. Popper is probably one of my all time favorite baits. But when that water is clear or there's not a whole lot going on and it's just slick out, especially this time of year and in the fall, even early in the spring a lot of times, this little top water right here, all it is is, it's not a secret, all it is is just Sammy 100. I usually add a little feather on the back of it uh, that I hand make. I've got a video that shows you how to do it. I absolutely love that topwater bait right there. And that thing starts to walking. I've seen a lot of fish come up and smack it. I've caught smallmouth on it. I've caught spots on it. I've caught, uh, well, now probably the biggest largemouth I've caught, which I believe was probably six pounds or more today, just because I've caught my share of four and five pounders. And that one there is the biggest fish that I've caught. And, I'm going to say easily, easily probably the last 10, 12 years. That's probably the biggest one I've caught in a while. Um, but I praise the Lord for even the little ones I caught today. Uh, I don't carry a scale in my boat. I don't, I've got a little ruler back there just so I keep legal if I decide to keep fish. No way I was planning on keeping that fish. Um, it's put back in the lake so somebody else can catch it another day just fun for me to watch it come up and get my top water fun for me to stress a little bit and worry about it getting off before I got the net under it I've had my fair share of big fish this year already and I'm praise the Lord for every one of them I'm very thankful um, nothing fancy I was doing with that top water though I was just throwing it out and just walking it back certain days you can walk it and kind of pause your walk and make it go wider um, I really do believe that that little feather on the back of it, you probably won't ever see me throw one without it. I do believe that feather makes a difference a lot of time and when they grab the bait. Um, but setup that I use, 20 pound monofilament. A lot of people like throwing that braid. I've been throwing that 20 pound monofilament for over 20 years and it does just fine for me. I've, I've thrown braid before and honestly I don't care for it. <coughs> just too many different things about it that I don't like. Just a regular SLX bait caster, um, Shimano Compre um, bait caster on. This is a six egg medium heavy, but this medium heavy, the tip that this medium heavy has, you can see right there, it bends pretty good. It's, it says it's a medium heavy. To me, it's more of a medium action. Um, perfect setup, though. I love using this rod. Got it off a good friend of mine on a trade, and I, I, I really like this little rod, especially for top water. Um, but blessing. Uh, I caught that one on that top water, and then I moved back a little bit and started fishing. After the top water, I had a couple of them roll on it and wouldn't take it. 
that usually lets me know that it's probably time to switch to something that's a little bit slower, a little bit more under the water. That's when I switched to that drop shot, um, which I used that little bomb shot for a little bit. I got a lot of pecs. Um, wind up switching to a little bit longer trick worm and caught a few doing that. So just a blessing of a day. Uh, I'm very thankful to have had the opportunity to, to go today. Um, hope it encourages you. Hope you see in the fish. Hope it encourages you to do two things. Hope it encourages you to praise the Lord. And also hope it encourages you to go out and maybe take somebody fishing, show somebody else how to catch fish too and enjoy God's creation. Either way, if anybody's got any questions, you're more welcome to message me. Um, don't forget though, Jesus loves you. Hope you enjoy the videos.